Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dad. What's going on? I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I'm going to mean all. I mean all. I mean, check out our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we're going to pop up. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you can see all our visuals. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, get all notifications. But if you want to see our exclusive content, which we do have, you have to, under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, join our membership, because y'all always see us on the street and be like, how can we support the brand? Should we buy merch? What should we do? This is what you need to do. Go ahead and join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions, and we thank you for all the support and love. Stay blessed. Check it, man. This boy is here, man. Listen, he don't need no introduction. <laughs> if you if you watching TV or the internet or whatever you watching, this, this guy right here, man, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Double XL 2015, man. Freshman yeah. class. Stand yeah. up. Yeah. He in the building, man. Cash money. Young yeah. money. Yeah. G unit. Yeah. Man, it, it was another one, too. Re, yeah, re, yeah, re, 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 yeah. Now Records. Yeah, that's my company. He yeah. in the building, y'all. Right. Kid Kid is in the building. What's good, Boss Talk, man? Let's boss Talk, talk man. 101 <laughs> while the bosses talk, man. <laughs> For real, yeah. man. We, we overdue, <laughs> man. You I, in the south, the daddy, I, I, man. I come this my first time up here, bro. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. That's, be what, that's what I got to come at you, bro. I come this my man, first I mean, time I mean, up I mean here, to be man. honest with you, my wife, she say, man, I said, you know, I woke up because, you know, we was in New York yesterday. I was like, uh-huh. man. No, today, this morning. We yeah, just yeah, got we like just today. got here today. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm like, we going to take it easy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then <laughs> then I got a call, say, Kid Kid was in town. Hell uh, yeah. I woke up. She said, what? Hell uh, yeah. I said, Kid Kid in town. And I said, the little nigga. <laughs> The little nigga be working. That's what really matters. See, the man Thanks, been working. Bro. The man been in the game for twenty years. The man, the man been mm-hmm. twenty plus years. Started at fourteen. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? A young boy. Thanks, bro. You know what I'm Thanks. saying? So I had to step my game up and say, you know what, man? Forget about jet lag. It's going down. <laughs> it's man. going yeah. down. For <laughs> Let's real. go, Mr. That's, like, that's how you get to it. You, know? <laughs> you got to get up and get to it, man. Yeah. For real, man. We ain't getting no rest. That's <laughs> it. So what part really? of New Orleans are you from? I'm from downtown, Nine Wall. Nine Wall. Maison to be exact. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, what made that part different from any other other wards? Um, really, real talk, it's not really so different. Really? You know what I mean? For real. Like I feel like every ward got the same thing you did. You got your real niggas, you got your fake niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got your you did, your freak females, you got your bad females. You know what I'm saying? It's like every every, you know, hood the same. The only thing that's different is you know, it's my hood. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, my partner's who I grew up with. You feel yeah. me? So, of course, you know, that's definitely going to be different from anywhere else. Yeah. You know, because you're with your own people. Yeah, because people always feel like, oh, my hood, the hardest hood. My hood have more poverty. My hood, we suffer more over here. Or we have the m- more people mm-hmm. come up out of here, you know, make it big. Yeah, or, yeah. you know, people mm-hmm. always feel that way about yeah. their own but hood. You know, but, you know, it's like this, man. With me, when I say that, it's like, yeah, of course, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm from downtown. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people that made it from out of the city, they from uptown. Mm. You get what I'm saying? But I always look at it like this, man. Like, no matter you from uptown or downtown, you know what I'm saying? We still a part of the same struggle. Like, even exactly. the people that made it from out of there, you know what I'm saying? They people still in that struggle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For real. Like, I tell a nigga this every time, bro, when they be like, What's your definition of success? I said, when my phone stop ringing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When people call me just genuinely to see how I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not about, oh, man, because say, bro, I'm, I'm fucked up, bro. I need this, I need. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's when I knew I made it because I knew everybody around me going to be straight. Right. You right. feel me? For real. I like that. So yeah. were you raised with your mom and your dad? Um, my dad, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my dad, you know what I'm Rest saying? I peace. lost him last year. Wow. Um, yeah, man, my dad, he was, you know, locked up most of my life, but he still was a part of my life, like Y'all so much a part close. of my life. Oh, yeah. And then that's possible yeah. to be locked up so much of your life and still be so close. Like, what did he do to make that impact on you? Um, Just, like, cause from the day I was born, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, my dad took me, you know what I'm saying? I, I lived with my dad and my okay. grandmother. Okay. You know what I mean? My dad's mom, you know, and, uh, 
you know, I was raised with them, you feel me? So I'm, I'm a grandmama baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real, you know. So, you know, I'm I'm very, like, you know, well-mannered. You know, I got respect That's for my good. adults and, you Can know cook? what I mean? Stuff like that. Huh? Can you cook? Not like grandma? that much. <laughs> Not that much. Because you grandma, much. baby. Grandma's supposed to be showing you how to throw down. Yeah, you know, I'm in the kitchen. I'm just waiting to eat. I wasn't trying to learn. I was, you know what I mean? For real. That's you real. Know. That's Rest real. Rest in peace to my grandmother, man. Rest in peace to my dad, man. You know what I'm saying? How, I son forever. How old were you when he first got locked up? That man, you can my remember? Dad was, man, my dad was going to jail my whole life, man. Um, Do you remember how old you were the first time? Um, Yeah, because I, I think I had to be probably about, about four years old. He went and did like five years, mm. then he came home after that, and I remember me being, uh, you know, like 10 years old, mm -hmm. and that's when he caught his, he did had called life, you know what wow. I'm saying? Yeah, and he ended up doing, uh, he ended up doing 23 years. How did you feel about that time? Cause you know, five years compared to 23 years, that's a yeah. big, um, and you were old enough at that time to really yeah. understand certain things, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. how did you I, feel? It, it, it was like, it's like man, like stuff, just, stuff just starts becoming so normal. You know what I mean? You see it like, so much. Yeah, because you know you got you got your uncles going to jail like mm. that. You got you know what I'm saying all oh, the cousins going. You know what I mean? And and it just be you know it start becoming normal. You feel me? But you know me and my dad like we always talked a lot. You know what I'm saying? What he was you know in jail and that thing. Like he made sure you know he always called me. You know what I'm saying? He made sure. You know, I had some kind of money, you know what I'm saying, and some kind of guidance, you feel me? Did he ever give you those speeches like, don't go down the same path that I went, don't do this? Or he didn't give you them type of speech? You, you know what's funny? You know what's funny, bro? Like, he never really did. Mm. It was always more of like, you know, be your own man. Mm. You know what I'm saying, for real, because, you know, like we, you know, you know, it's everybody's story, you know what I'm saying? You know, we ain't had nothing, you know what I'm saying? and. You know, at that time and like at that age, you feel me, you just watching everybody else and what they have, you know, and when you don't have it, it's only so many options you got, you know? Mm -hmm. But um but you know my dad, man, like he was smart, man. He one of the reasons like why I am how I am and you know what I mean, why I go so hard, how I go hard, for real, because when nobody believed in me, he, he did. did, he was there. Mm. For real. You know what I'm saying? He at first. You know what I mean? For me. real. Like when he when he uh when he came home, you know what I'm saying? First thing I did, I made sure I, I, I took him with me. You know mm. what I mean? For real. So, you know, before he passed, he got to meet 50 Cent. He got wow. to meet Wayne and, 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 and all these people and see his son perform. You know what I'm saying? At a high level and that stuff like that. That meant a lot that. to him. Man, of course. For real. For How real. How many kids man. did he have? Uh, let's see, it's me. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, six. He had like seven. Seven. You the oldest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He had like seven. Yeah. All of them live with grandma? Uh-uh. Nah. Just you? Nah, it was just me and uh me and my brother, me and my brother uh Carl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask you yeah. something. So how how old was you when Katrina and all that happened? Um, let me see. Oh what? Katrina happened in what, like 2015, huh? Yeah. No, I wasn't it? No, I wasn't 15. That was before that, wasn't it? No. Uh, damn, it? Katrina. I got to Google that. Yeah, that, that, was that was no, no, I think it was 05. I think it was 05. Google that, baby. We got to Google damn. that. Damn. That, yeah, hey. thank God. Do you damn, remember that happening? Yeah, I remember you that shit, You had to, because you changed everything God down there. damn. We came out here. Yeah. Y'all came to Dallas. Yeah, I was I was out here. Y'all was hard, in, uh, hard on Dallas too. I was I in Irving. I remember 2005. Being, I, yeah, I remember. You, you said it. 2005. Yeah, I remember being in Irving, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was in Irving, Dallas, uh, in some like little apartments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I went to Fort Worth. You feel me? Like, and I was right around a band from Stop Six. Woo. You know what I mean? For real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it was it was raw, and that's when I learned. Like you know, like, cause those dudes my that was my first time actually you know like experiencing you know dallas texas and stuff like that yeah. you know they always was back and forth to houston yeah you feel me but and you know so i'm like damn oh damn they rocking like that out here like you know what i'm saying and that let you know like it's real everywhere, everywhere you go what's the difference between dallas and houston to you um between dallas and houston i really it's it, well i'm gonna say houston it's, it's just more, I, I would say, like, you know what I'm saying? It's more flashing is going on mm -hmm. in Houston. You know what I mean? Like, from the, from the times I, I've been coming to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? You know, of course, you know, these niggas getting money out here for sure. 
You know what I'm saying? But everybody just, you know, is, is on a humble. Okay. You get what I'm saying? It's, it. it's more on a humble. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like people show off more in Houston. Got it. Wow. You get what um, I'm saying? I was just going to ask you, like, going back to, you know, coming out here and then going back down to New Orleans after everything had happened. Yeah. How was it? Like, dumbest shit I ever did. <laughs> Yo, I'm just saying, like, when you left it with back after the flood. it was a blessing, man. Like, I'm keeping it real, bro. Like, man, it was a blessing, man. You know, like, Katrina, you know, of course, you know, everybody, you know what I'm saying, felt sorry for everybody. But, man, it was a blessing, bro, for people. Because you got people that never seen outside of New Orleans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got people that in New Orleans was living on the street. You feel me? Katrina came. Now they didn't uh, move to Texas or, or wherever they got stationed at. The FEMA came through. Now they got their own apartment. They was able to get a good job. They was, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they living good. You feel me? Never look back. So it was a blessing for a whole lot of people. You don't never hear that part. Right. That's so true. Yeah, That's for true. real. It was a blessing for a whole lot of people, man. And you know we were just so much in a in a hurry to get back, and you know what I mean. But it was like we came back to nothing. You, you know right. what I'm saying? You that's know, like, like our, our, our houses destroyed, everything. Like, what we doing? Some people we, lost we in the mill ones. doing infested crit. Like, what we doing? We tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We getting free hotels. We could, you know what I'm saying? People showing love. You hear me? You know? You know what I'm yeah. saying? People feeling sorry for us and shit. Giving us free food. <laughs> like, what the fuck we doing? We tripping. Some people <laughs> you know never turned saying? back. Some people yeah. never went. Yeah, some people never went back at all. Oh, yeah, that's a fact, bro. Mm -hmm. I know a few people that never went back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they doing real, real oh, good. good. I mean, real good. Man, I, I know, I, man, I know, dude, man. He was on drugs so heavy, you dig, in the city. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he was homeless. He was, you know what I'm saying? And like, he left messed all the way good. up, bro. Yeah, man, you see this nigga now, man. I think he, uh, what kind of business he got right now, man? But I know, I know got he got his, his own, own business. business. Yeah, man, Dang. he got his own business right now, man. You know he got saying? a story. Coming through, yeah, man, he coming through floss and that thing. For <laughs> he, real. He be like, he man, that, it. what? Man, that crack, man, what? <laughs> man, come on, for real. Like, I'll never forget, man. Um, I was out there in Houston. I, was, I went to a club in Houston. And, and you I spot him. him. Yeah, because yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know we all from around the right, way. Right, right. Else. So, you know, when he pulled up, you know, he pulled up and stuff to meet us and everything. Now, in my mind, I'm like, oh, man, this nigga gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, You feel right. me, but that boy pull up, you know what I'm saying? Got his brand own new, stuff. Uh, yeah, he never had the brand new act around right here, and that they pull up. Yeah, nigga, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, hold up, man. For real, you know what I mean? I love it. You know, we really was running in, and you know, he was just telling me how, you know what I'm saying, how he got clean, and how he good, That's good. Now, and how he, That's you a know blessing. what I mean, for real, you know what I mean? Come, he offering me drinks and shit. Mm. You know, man, let me know, I, I got this. Let me get you, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, damn. That's good. For That's real. motivation for a lot Hell of people. Yeah. But yeah. you know, you know, earlier you're talking about your dad, but you never mentioned your mm -hmm. mom. Where was your mom during your earlier days? Um, she was there. You know, she was there. Um, you know, like me and my mom, like growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was younger and stuff like that. You know, I had one of those young moms. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So you know, she's you know was still you know part trying of stuff to be like young, that. trying yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was basically really just you know really raised with you know my grandmother and my mm -hmm. uncles and stuff like that. And uh, but you know as I got older, you know what I'm saying, we got closer. I was wondering if you ever built that relationship. Oh yeah, with yeah, her. of course. You know, what I'm yeah, that's that's my that's, that's my father for real. That's now. good. That's yeah, good. man, for real. I love my mom, man, for real. She's crazy as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I what did you get death. from her? You know, you get huh? traits from you get traits from both your parents. What um, trait did you get from your mom, and what traits did you get from your dad? Damn, let me see what I can say. I got from my mom. Bro. You're not crazy like her. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, not at all. Um, I would say, I would say, I got my like uh, more. You know, like uh, like you know, what I'm saying, like energetic side. Okay. You know what I'm saying, just like energetic and. You know, I'm not one of them people that just so unapproachable and mm, stuff like that. Very you sociable. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I got I could say I got that from my mom. Okay, got you it. You know what I mean? Everything else I got from my dad. You got know it. what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Um Kid Kid. AK Peanut. Yeah, not the kid and all this. Yeah. What's going on? Man? Why they call you that? <laughs> oh, and they got well, a lot of peanut, names, man. Peanut, peanut yeah. is my my real my nickname. You know what I'm saying? Since who gave forever, you? Grandma gave since you that. Since I was a baby. Okay, who um, gave you that name? 
I really don't know who's the creator of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, you just grow up. Grew up that's with your it. nickname. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? That's what everybody call you, you mm-hmm. know? And uh, like when I started calling myself uh, Not the Kid, that's when I first started rapping. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But then it was like, everybody is something, something the kid. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and Wayne, one time, we was, uh, you know, playing the game, playing Madden and shit. You know, like when you whooping a nigga ass, you go to talking book of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I ended up, uh, like, saying, like, kid, kid, like, on some shit, like, you know, man, nah, I call him kid, kid twice type shit, talking shit to a nigga. And I ended up saying it in the studio just to be driving, you did, the nigga that I beat. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, Wayne and heard stuck. me say it, and then Wayne ended up saying it. And once he said it, it on the track, yeah, it stuck. For me. I, I want to ask you about that. It, it It's... Mm-hmm. They say Wayne discovered you. Mm. You was on the streets. Explain yeah. to me how did Wayne discover you on the streets? Is he on the streets at this time um, looking for artists? N- uh uh-uh, uh, nah. It was more of like my big homie from around my way, you know what I'm saying? You know, on um, Mule, you know, like one of the older dudes from around the way. Uh, you know, he was just always like, because he, cause he went to school with most of the people that Wayne was around every day. He went to school with them, so he knew them. And so um, he just was like, yo, like, I'm going to bring you to that boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring you to him and rap one. Now, at the time, you know, that shit seemed so, you know what I'm saying? For, for that man, whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real. That's yeah, camp, boy. Yeah, because you're like, mm, you don't know way, man. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, real talk, man. That nigga pulled up, you know what I'm saying, in front of my door. You feel me? i never forget this shit, man. He pulled up in front of my door, bro. Uh, and I was out there, I was on the porch, you did me and my little cousin Mike, you did, Lord bless the dead. And um, I'm like, she's like, come on, nigga, you ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? I'm like, yeah, fuck you, me. You know How what I'm saying? Nigga, you? I ain't doing shit else, nigga. You How old were you right then? Uh, I probably like like 15, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, when, when I got in there, you did, I made sure I brought Mike, you did, because nigga, I need a witness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need a witness with me. Yeah, for real. And uh, he brought me up there. We went to the uh, to the east, and um, he was he was he was playing a game. You know what I'm saying? So you know I'm I'm in the house. You know I'm anxious like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. So after a while, I'm like, man, what the fuck, man. So you not go up to him. You dig? I'm like, man, look, bro. You dig? I'm you people. You dig? He bought me in the rap for you. Woo, woo. And he kind of like gave me the brush off. Like, all right, all right, you know, like, all right, you dig? My people gonna check you out type shit. So when he did that. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, fuck this shit then. You know what I'm saying? For real. You're like, man, I'm, I'm about to dip out. So i never forget, bro, like, I was leaving out in uh, Fee. You know what I mean? I don't know if you ever heard of Fee Banks. Say, bro, nah, he's an interesting guy, bro, who you need to get up here, bro. Okay. Like, I always shout Fee out, bro. Fee, one of the realest people, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ever met, bro, from day one. Um, and I'm, I'm going to give you, give you a little something about it, and I'm going to finish the story. Uh, mm-hmm. If it wasn't for Fee, you wouldn't have Kevin Gates. Wow. If it wasn't for Fee, you wouldn't have NBA Youngboy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say that. You know That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, bro. So, um, you know, shout out to Fee, man. But um, Fee, you know, he came up. Uh, you you got to link me with Fee. I got that, you. That's hard right there. I got you. I got you. Uh, his name Fee Banks. Okay. Um, he can't stop me. And he was just like, look, 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 don't trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to call him out here for you. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? Like, don't trip. I'm going to call him out here for you. Woo, woo, woo. And uh, he come out the house. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he got the little, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't interested, whatever type of fish, you know what I'm saying? And so they were like, go ahead, man, spit something. Man, I went to rapping. See, when I went to rapping, I ain't get past probably like four bars, bro. Real talk. That nigga went the same. Man, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Man, hold on. You know what I'm saying? For real, it did. It was like, man, spit something else, man. I went to rapping again. That nigga with the jumping up and down, and it for like real, man. I can't imagine because he is energetic. Man, it was so crazy, man. Like then it was like you know everybody was like ooh, like you got to wrap something now. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, to him and man, we ended up rapping out there for like probably like a good hour and a half. Then right after that, we went straight to the studio. Straight to wow. the studio. Straight right to there. the studio, and we uh, that's how the, um, the rap group squad up. You know what I'm saying? I was born right then now, that night. Wow. So Wayne and and Thanks. what what are some of the things and that that something that sticks out that early in those early times that he he brought up or asked mm-hmm. you about like or, or or maybe he not asked you about but but gave you some good advice on you know as far as on the rap um, the way the lyrics well, go and all that. 
Well, well, Wayne, this one thing he told me uh, with advice, he was like, bro, what matters the most is how you start the song and how you end it. You know what I'm saying? Because those, because no matter what you're saying, how you come in, you did, people going to always remember that. And they going to always remember your last words. Wow. So always make sure that's powerful. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and most of all, like, his work ethic, you know what I mean? Like, in, in the studio, it's crazy. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah, I know? heard stories of it, man. Yeah, man. Like, he, he lives in there. For real. Yeah. And, and as far as, like, from for a person like me, you know, it's like, I'm trying to get where you at. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to work just as hard as you or harder. You wow. know what I mean? For real. Squad up. Um, was that formulated when you got there or was he working on that? You know? Yeah. Um. Well, you know, that was kind of like his little like group of friends who he always, you know what I'm saying? His friend, they was already calling themselves the, the squad. Okay. And uh, when I got there, like I said, you know, that's when we formed Young Money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Squad Up, the actual uh, rap group. Squad Up, Squad Up, Squad tapes. Up was the one that, didn't y'all have, y'all had an issue with Slim Thug. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, y'all were yeah. young. <laughs> young yeah. hard heads, man. Yeah. What was that about, man? Oh, uh, man, that was just us, man. You know, uh, you know, riding for Flip, man. Because, you know, Flip, Flip showed us a whole lot of love, bro. Okay. Like, during that Katrina, that whole Katrina time and stuff like that. And, you know, that's just how we bred, bro, out there. Like, if we rocking with you, we rocking with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, you know, and it's like, you know, if a nigga fucking with that, just like, man, if, if me and you go to the club right now, you know what I'm saying? You get into it with a nigga, I'm in it, I'm in it with you. You gotta be. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's just, you know, like how he was, man, for real, you know, but shout out to Slim Thug, man. <laughs> I talked shout to Slim about, thug, I don't know, shout about two thug. weeks, what, about three weeks ago, <laughs> mm -hmm. with Lil Kiki and them, but, man, <laughs> shout out to all them boys down there in H-Town, man, Flip, yeah. uh, Thug, uh, Lil Kiki, yeah, man. Yeah, man, shout out to Flip, man, shout out to all the H-Town legends out there, man, man, for real. Shout out to Trey, you hear me? Shout, shout out, to, out Trey. to Trey, man. Yeah, man. I Trey love Sire. Trey, man. Love Trey, man. Shout, love Sire. all them boys, like I said, man. But you basically at that time, man, you you were squad up. The Young Money thing happens. Is this parallel in each other? or Yeah. Um, so they going on at the same time? Yeah, man. Um, It was like, you know, we were the squad up. We was doing, you know, the whole group named Wayne and stuff like that. And then we had our period where... You know, just us, like the rappers, you know what I'm saying? We separated from Wayne and started doing our own thing, you know, and that's mm -hmm. when, uh, you know, a lot of stuff like with Flip, uh, the mixtapes with Flip and yeah. shit like that yeah. happened. Um, and then after that, you know, me, you know what I'm saying? I ended up, you know, getting back in the day with Wayne. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I, and, and, and the one thing I can't say, Wayne... Uh, one of the hardest working niggas ever but you know when mm -hmm. you think about like what about were y'all did y'all have opportunity to sign with Jay-Z or oh yeah yeah man yeah man uh, you know during that time and all that shit like during that grind bro uh, I think it was probably like in 2000 I wanna say like 7 you know what I'm saying 2007 something like that we uh we was in Atlanta recording and um you know, shout out to Big Lee. You know what I'm saying? Big homie Big Lee, man. Uh, him and JX, man. They uh they got Tata to come in the studio. Okay. They got Tata to come to the studio. He came in there. You know, he he heard, you know what I'm saying? He heard what he liked. You feel me? And he was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We, we want to fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And uh, shit, next thing you know, man, like two days later you day I'm on my first my own very first first class flight hey that's what I'm talking <laughs> you know what about saying? man for real man we uh <laughs> went out there to New York you know what I'm saying got to meet got to meet Hov for real where like, was he at in the studio crazy. or where were we nah, at he was in his office he was at the office at first we uh we went met him there at the office um you know and that's the thing about Hov too bro like and he was like man hey you know, like, like, let me hear something. So, as soon as he met you, <laughs> nah, yeah, you know, like, cause we coming up there to, you know, to what really mean? Like, show you, yeah, showcase, yeah, yeah, like try to sign shit like that. So, you know, when we got up there, you know, he just like, you know, let me hear something, and you know, we go straight to the trying to play the music, but nah, that nigga want he want to hear you raw, like, you know what I'm saying, like authentic. 
you what, what would you spit if you if, if you fit to spit something right now? I say, man, let me, and I got the keys to success, nigga. Million <laughs> dollar deal, damn, all a million. <laughs> what would what would my boy Kid Kid spit? Acapella. Shit, How you go? Shit, whatever come to my head. Give like, me something, man. Like shit, like gotta be fresh to death when you hopping out of suicide doors. I knew a lot of explorers, but they never moved forward. I'm prepared for whatever the situation calls for. No train ticket, but she was all aboard. Kid, kid, I'm still grinding like a slow song. If I don't trust a bitch, I'm going to fuck her with all my clothes on. Man. <laughs> Ducking and put the bros on. Boss talk. I've been waiting to blow for so long. Man. See, they knew I was a pro, but they prolonged. Had to prove them so wrong. Look at me, I'm so on. I hate bringing up shit that I already mentioned. My life full of murder and drama. It's an already picture. This little red bean give you all the attention. That you want, not to mention slam old bitches, then the perfect 10 don't. I'm the one that pulled the pistol when we fought, fuck the thought, cleared the park. All my people play with sticks like a pool table, homie. I'm a shock. Talk to me when it's big green involved like the hawk. Gotta spit it from the heart, right on point like a dart. You can pop like a tart, motherfuck your pop charts. It's that real, it's that raw in the field. We at wall, you get nailed from this hammer, keep your drill in your soul. I was lil when I saw my first kill, I was taught. Never squeal to the law It reveal who you are in this world You a man of mouse Your girl probably kicked you out From being a slouch Just lamping on the couch I'm a go-getter, gorilla Screws loose, no fillers Big banks, no filler Hard balls, no filler Man. Sponsored by the dope dealers Got the game from old niggas Who told me watch your step When you jumping off that porch, nigga Man, <laughs> kid, kid, you keep don't keep play going. with that. Listen, yeah, man, keep kid, going. kid, yeah, I can, stop, I can, boy. Yeah. Wow, you, know, like, you do this, say. yeah, bro. I do this shit, and that's bro. straight off the dome. I do man, this, bro. Man, he, he, he got a lot. He got a lot. How many people bro. do that? Man, listen, man. I do man, this, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm like. telling you, man, it's, it's so exciting <laughs> to hear that talent. I know you got it. I'm poking at the barrel. You know what I'm saying? I'm poking at it. Say, nigga, do something, nigga. Thanks, dude. I love it, man. Thank you so much, bro. Oh, man, thanks, man, man. Listen, man, like, like when, you, when you think about just the whole way that you, you came into the game, man, and, mm -hmm. and you done been with these labels, man, and you see where things are now versus where they were when you first came in the game. Uh -huh. It was more, you know what I know, hands CDs, hand-to-hand, yeah. hand, all hands that. On. You to really go, had to be You had to be out, out there. there. You know what I'm saying? For real, putting that <laughs> footwork in. Like, you had to really be out there, like, going... To everybody, like hood to hood, you don't know what the fuck happened to you, mm -hmm. but you out there, you know what I mean? For real, like, man, I miss that grind. That grind and, was and serious. Right, and right now, that's what I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? For you going real. back. Yeah, hand man, man, hand. man, I'm back to that. What? Stop playing, y'all. You see me out here in Dallas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Come, like, you pull it up. Like, for real, bro. Like, you know, when we came. Uh, from Oklahoma a few days ago, you know, it wasn't no plan or nothing like no. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we about to come out here and we gonna make some shit. That's, and that's the way you gotta think. You that's me? a real For hustler, real. walking by faith, really. For to real, be honest, right? it's going down. Yeah. So, so, so hustling what? and being on the street all the time and stuff like that, even back then with a the grime, some people mm -hmm. say that that can also be dangerous. You can get in yeah, trouble yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely dangerous if you move in a dangerous way. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But when you're young, a lot of these kids, they don't care. They're going to move that dangerous way. Yeah, because they're doing dangerous things. Mm -hmm. See, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, you know, I'm moving. I'm, I'm coming out here on the strength of music. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. And stuff like that. So that enables me to connect with people like y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Connect with the promoters. Connect with other artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like I ain't out, you know, I ain't out here looking for the plug. Right. <laughs> you, get what, you get what I'm saying? Tell me about a time <laughs> in your life when, because, you know, when you're young, you, you have a hot head, right? Mm hmm a lot of kids, I don't know about you, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. But, um, and adults can't really just tell you everything. You, sometimes you gotta learn yourself. Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me about a time when you were younger where you had to learn, and how did you learn? And looking back on it now, you're like, man, I could have lost my life. Oh man, there's so many situations <laughs> like that. It's it's crazy, man. Um, I would say, uh, I would say, uh, cause you, you know, like I've been shot up and right. everything. Like, right. Um, you know that was that was definitely a, a an awakening moment for me, because mm -hmm. I know I was doing a lot of dumb shit I ain't had to be doing. How old were you at the time you know when that saying? happened to you? Um, I was probably like like twenty five, twenty six. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And um, 
you know, like I said, like I ain't had that to be doing. You know what I'm saying? For Were real. you mad at yourself? Um, yeah, of course. Do me a favor. Of course, go, I was mad at myself. Go back, mm-hmm. walk up, walk up to the point of you getting shot, and your mother has seen this as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like so, and, and you get hit six times. Yeah, six out of forty-two. Six so, out of forty-two. Yeah, bro. So you you stand Less. in front of your house. Wow. Yeah, um, in front of my mom's house. And you, I was I was in front of her house. I was uh, you know, driving off. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know how mom says, you know, they ain't about to just let you pull off. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, you know, she's in the doorway, you know, in her doorway, you know, talking to me and stuff like that, you know, while I'm in the car, you know, and uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? For you know, we see the niggas walk up or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they were just like, damn. You know what I mean? Like first thing I did was, you know, I'm telling her, man, get in the get house. In the house. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, get in the house. You feel me? She ain't gonna know. She just stood there, you know what I'm saying? Screaming for real. Like she thought I was dead, you know what I mean? Wow. And and so when when once it happened, I don't, do you go unconscious or do you do um, you, do you nah, stay man, I, Yeah, man, I ain't gonna front, bro. It's like it's like everything was damn near like in slow motion on some shit. <laughs> you know what it I'm was saying? like on Minister Society when he got hit. You don't you don't remember that though, you young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I who man, Minister Society, man, that's classic. No time when he, you know, when Kane got hit, he yeah. said, Don't die, Kane, you know what I'm saying? All right. It was slow boom, 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 boom. But hey, but real talk, <laughs> that's what like, I'm it, it, it's kinda it's it's kinda like that. But like uh like for me it was just more like, you know, you just hit, you know, you hearing the shots, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like, damn. If it for real, like I had time to make phone calls. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? For real, you know, I'm calling my partner and I'm like, man, get around here. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And uh, How close were they when they were shooting? Uh, Let's see. All right. Like, if I'm right here, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? About to like, right there where you were, like I'm a li- little bit behind you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing was, I'm like, damn. I'm telling myself, I'm like, damn. Like, because at first, like, the bullets wasn't, wasn't really hitting me. Like, they weren't mm-hmm. penetrating the car. I guess, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, damn, I right. So like in my mind, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try to crawl over to the passenger side, you hear me, and just check out, you know what I'm saying? You know, open that door and just, you did check out, but. Yeah. Was your car on at this time, or was nah, it off? Nah, it was off. Okay. It was off. And what, when they, where did they hit you at? Yeah, exactly? that's what I was going huh? to ask. Oh, like, like up up in my torso. All in your torso. Up, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, and I caught a few, like, like on, in my ass and shit from yeah. trying, to, trying to fucking slide right. over. Slide over. Yeah, because that, that's when I started getting hit real tall. Like, that's when I started getting When you started getting sliding hit. over. Yeah, yeah, then when I tried to, like, cross over to the passenger side. You know what I mean? But um, I ended up making it to the passenger side. Mm-hmm. And I still ain't knew I was hit. You feel mm, me? Adrenaline rushing. I, I got, yeah. Like, I, for real, like, I really still ain't know I was hit or nothing. Like, until I opened the door, I opened the passenger side door, and I just fell. Like, I couldn't move. Like, everything was numb. You know what I'm saying? From way down. Like, I'm like, yeah. fuck. So now I'm just on the ground. And I'm like, man, fuck it. Yeah, because, you know, like, in my mind, you know, you thinking a nigga about to just come stand yeah, over you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I would they, think. They go crazy. But they but ran now, off. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if they were paying attention. I don't know because even when I was uh when I was over there and I'm on the ground, you know what I'm saying? They still just just let loose, you know what I'm saying? Just still shooting, you right. feel me? And I can remember me like you know just laying, you know I'm on the ground, so I, all I can see under the car, you know what I'm saying? I can see the you know the feet, you feel me? Feet, and they still just letting all on. Oh, oh. They thought you was dead. <laughs> Probably so. Probably so. For real. Wow. And your mama, lucky she didn't get shot. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, how did they get you to the hospital? Did yeah, they, who got you to the hospital? Um, the a- ambulance. Ambulance. Oh, okay. Ambulance came. And that was, that was another thing. I was spooked up two years ago. I'm like, man, them people going to take all day to come grab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, for real. Yeah. How long did and it take? Go like that. I, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. For real. Man, and, and so that happened to you, man. I think about... When we was interviewing uh, Peaches, and she talked about when Soldier Slim got hit in front of the house. Yeah, man. You know what I mean. That's a piece to the legend, man. Man, rest, rest in peace. peace. Like, like Fair. you remember, you know, like when he was around yeah. and everything. Yeah, man. Yeah. Did you ever man. get a chance to meet him? Nah, I never like really like met him. Like met but him. But you knew he was in the like, city. You know oh yeah, like I didn't been in places he was at. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I got you. You know, you feel me? But you know, I never actually like. 
Yo, Slim, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kid, you feel me? Like, I never met him like that. What did you think about him when he was doing um, that thing? Man? He was a real nigga, bro. Like, he was one of them people that you definitely looked up to in the city. And, you know, you, you wanted him. You wanted to be like him. You know what I'm saying? For real, you know, just as far as, like, you know, just being official. You get what I'm saying? What did you... Especially being a rapper from the city, like... Mm -hmm. You know what did you um what did you think today when you found out that he had got killed? Um, you know, like it's the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, of course, you know, we devastated because you know you lost a legend. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like you know he he was out here, bro. Like he was living. You know what I'm saying? He was living like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And it was just you know it's just more of like you know you got to be careful when when you out there like that. You get what I'm saying for real, but. But you know, y'all were devastated, bro. And like for me, I just was like, damn, like, huh, you know what I'm saying? Cause the, the day he died is actually on my birthday. Wow. Yeah, November 26th, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, definitely when he died. So you yeah. never forget that day. Yeah, I never forget that. So every time, you know, when my birthday come around, you know, I make sure I send my shout out to him. You get what I'm saying, you know? And I always just feel like, you know what I mean? Like maybe, you know, a part of his spirit, you know what I'm saying? Lives on you know, through yeah, you. Yeah, lives on through me and my music, for real. I, uh. I did a song called In My City uh last year on my uh on my Street Fame uh EP that I dropped. You get what I'm saying? Sample one of his classic songs. Wow. You know, yeah, one of his classic uh beats and stuff, man. You know, I'm always, you know, giving praise to him, you know what I mean? Yeah. For real, because he was like, you know, like my favorite rap at the time. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real. You what know? made what made him so so like when we go down to New Orleans, everybody mm -hmm. Got a Soldier Slim story, or yeah, everybody because, have a because he was a, he was a, he was the kind of artist, bro, that you could actually reach out and touch. You get what I'm saying? He wasn't none of them niggas like, you know, you just see on your TV screen. You just see, you know what I'm saying? For real, and like coming from New Orleans, you know, all that should be so far fetched for us. You know what I'm saying? Like all these people, all, you know what I'm saying? That stars and stuff like that, and. You know, you get a person like Soldier Slim, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, always talking this real shit, like talk, you know what I'm saying? And you know that's what's really going on. Yeah. And then at the same time, you fuck around and just be somewhere randomly, and you just see this nigga coming through. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he stayed in the saying? city, he stayed in the city compared to all of the yeah. other ones who, when yeah. they got big, they left. Yeah, that's Do a you fact. feel like it's imperative for a person, when you start to get to a certain status, that you have to leave the city? Um, it depends. To I, I feel like it depends. It depends, bro. Like, cause it is one thing f of like being in the city and being from the city, right? Okay. Um, like if you a person that's there and like, and you actually active, you know what I'm saying? When I say active, I mean as far as like, you know, indulging in all the bullshit mm -hmm. your people into. You know what I'm saying? You doing all kind of bullshit too. You know what I'm saying? And right. you know every day somebody trying to get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and you and, and it's like that. You feel me now? Of course, once you get to a certain status, you know what I'm saying. You will want to move because now you because you 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 faced with so many people that know you that you don't know. Exactly. You get what I'm saying, and you and you never could really tell who's who. You know what I'm saying. So it's best for you to move. You did, but if mm -hmm. you just a person that's you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying, like of the city. You feel me? You know. You from there or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't with all the dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, you get your money, you fuck your old. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no problems. You don't got no, no real enemies. But it's not only that. It, you could have been doing some dumb stuff from before and you change your life and say, you know what? I'm getting my money now. Let me put this down because it don't make no sense. But then them people who you oh, messed yeah, oh, over. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a fact. Know, shit don't die. You know, it don't shit die might die like down, that. but then ain't dead. Exactly. They remember. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So but, you got to leave. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, but it's, but it's always, it always comes down to how you moving. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It always comes down to how you moving. You hear me? If you move a certain way, you know what I'm saying? You'll be all right. So, okay. So, I wanted to go back to, so, when you got shot and you were in the hospital after that, how did that incident change your life? Were you, like, sitting in the hospital, be like, looking back and be like, man, I got to... Nah, I'm going to tell you, bro. Like, it was, it was so much a rush for me, right? Like, like during that time, like, it was so much, like, I had a, a real, like, conflicted, like, fucked up mind. Like, y'all ever heard of shit, the, uh, they call that shit the, uh, survivor's guilt? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going through that shit, like, and I just met 50. You okay. know what I'm saying? So as soon as I get out the hospital, 
I'm now I'm went straight to fucking Africa and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like real talk. That's big. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Africa, Spain, and all this shit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Trying for to get real. you out of all you of that. Me? I got a colostomy bag still stapled up, mm. all day, everything. For real, you yeah. I'm chilling with Flo, man. I can show you a picture right now. You did me, Florida. You did 50 at the strip club. You know what I'm saying? I clocked me back. Wow. Yeah, for real. So it's like, but as I'm going through all this, you know what I'm saying? My people still down that wall and still, you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, I'm doing all this, but I can't enjoy it to the max how I'm supposed to be. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm, cause my mind is constantly still thinking about what's going on there, and I'm, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Constantly on the phone with them for real. You did. I never forget, bro. Like my first, uh, my first South by Southwest. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm with fucking Fifty and Eminem and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm with M. You know what I'm saying? Like you did. We on the stage and shit. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. You did. My phone going off the hook. You hear me? I finally get off stage, you know what I'm saying? As the phone, your dead phone, you know, there's some bullshit going on. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even enjoy the moment. Right. You get what I'm saying? It was just like that, like a lot of them times. You get what I'm saying? And and that kind of like, it, it hindered me a little. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that type of shit is what keep you grounded. You feel me? Mm -hmm. For real, you hear me? Wow. How, did, how long did it take you to get over all of that, though? I never got over all that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's no way you can. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like, the mo all you could do is just, you know, keep your head fucking hell high, you know what I'm saying? Chest poked out and keep grinding. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For real, you hear me? Yeah, For real. I, I like, remember you saying after you, you had came to that, in one of your previous interviews, it was like you, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 50 called and... And that that gave you, you yeah, know, gave you hell a yeah, good wheel to you know to push hell through. Yeah, bro, for real, bro. Cause you know, like that shit had you, you know what I'm saying? It had you down. You know what I'm saying? You know your mind be all over the place. You feel me? Your mind be all over the place. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. So basically, you know, once once you and him link. Um, both of y'all named Curtis too. Yeah, that was y'all niggas was, wild. Both of y'all been shot. Say, Both say, of y'all named Curtis. <laughs> Both of you niggas is dog in the mother. Hey, y'all hey, niggas and hey, y'all niggas in the streets. But he told me, man, we say, bro, we we clown, say, bro, we clown <laughs> about that shot. shit so much, bro. <laughs> you but, knew. But we you talked about, about how you so met Lil Wayne, but you never told me how you met Fifty. Oh man, uh, he, that nigga just rich as the fuck and found my number. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like I, I, hey, I, I can't explain. But this man called me, bro, like two, three in the morning. You For the know first what I'm time, you never spoken to him before. Never this spoken to him before, ever. That man called me two, three in the morning. Now, of course, shit, I'm pretty sure, you know, he went through whoever he right. went through to get my number. Well, right. you know, early you know on, I know he used to run with, like, he was talking about Juvenile him doing concerts with him. He knows some people in the yeah, city. Yeah, He loves Louisiana. Ju Ju well, Juvenile ain't had my number. No, but I'm just time. saying, he, he was dealing <laughs> yeah. with a lot of New Orleans people, though. He had to be if he was running in them circles. Because he said yeah. he didn't even, he was like, what they, what they, so I think I seen a thing where he was amazed at the fact of how they was gravitating to that music. You know mm -hmm. what I mean for for so yeah. I know he's intrigued by New Orleans. That yeah. man, that culture oh, yeah. is something else, bro. Oh well, yeah, that's a fact, bro. Yeah, <laughs> nigga can't get around can, that culture, man, nigga. I need, I need to call me. Uh, How the hell yeah, he get your number, that? man? He don't know. Hey, hey man, I'm telling you, nigga, get you. I'm, you ain't ask him. What, what 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 you want me to say, man? How you how you get my number? How you get my number, nigga? The fuck you mean, nigga? Come on, nigga. Man, nigga, be hung up in my face and got the man in the world. He was not hung up in your face, nigga. Love real, bro. That nigga would have talked to you. Yeah. But nah, like real talk, man. So what did he say to you? Just half sleep, bro. Like, and uh, I asked the phone, but was even more crazy is like. When he said who he was, I believed him. You did. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, you like, yeah, what's up, dude? <laughs> that's even more crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he said who he was, I believed him. And it's like, you know, like I knew this nigga voice or something. You uh -huh. feel me? For real, bro. And uh, he just was like, yo, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm out here. I'm in New Orleans. You know, I'm trying to link with you. I'm trying to fuck with you or whatever. Who I'm like, damn. And at the time, I'm in New York. You hear me? I'm in, I'm in his hood. I don't got bro, one through four and got bro, you know what I'm saying? Circle one, shit like that. You know what right. I'm saying? In Queens, you know? uh -huh. So, you know, I'm I'm literally like, you know what I'm saying? Like in his hood, uh, here in New Orleans. You feel me? I'm like, damn. You feel me? So I'm like, man, look, I'm gonna be down there tomorrow. You feel me? And I now I booked a flight that night soon we got off the phone. You know what I'm saying? I made sure I got out there uh, that next day. You know what I mean? For real. And uh 
I, I showed up and went and met him. You dig? And this one I knew like I could really fuck with him and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I went and met him, you dig? It was, I had a couple of my partners with me, you know what I'm saying? You know, we pull up with every gun known a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause you know niggas was into a lot of bull, a lot right, of shit. Right. So when we pulled up, and this it, was before you got shot or after? Before, before. before. It was okay. Before. Yeah. yeah. So you know what I mean? So when we pulled up on him, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, bro. Then you gotta understand, we he, he, he was shooting a movie out there. Mm. So you know we on a movie set. He on the, you know what I'm saying? He on a movie set and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got the white producers <laughs> out there. Shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we, we pull up like that, working. like for real, yeah, bro. All kind of shit, man. Uh, we pull up and you know, like you see the shit, and he he embraced it more than like, oh man, y'all tripping, man, y'all gotta go. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Cause he real. Yeah, yeah, you know, right then and now, like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm fucking with dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, you really like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because a lot of, you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? They be disappointments. <laughs> you right. get what I'm saying? For real, you know. That's hard because he don't care what yeah. nobody else around him thinks. That's, that's a the, fact. That's what that's it is. That's a fact. What you just said, he don't care what nobody else around, around him thinks. That's a hard nigga. That's the thing. Real talk. So when that's people hard. around certain people, as much as they might embrace it, they're not going to show it. They're going to be real like... Talk. <laughs> I'm going to give you... I'm going to tell you another thing, bro, that nigga did real. That, that's the same example of what you said, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we had the song, We Up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With me, him, and Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Um... At the time, you know, Interscope was, you know what I'm saying, trying to push Kendrick and shit. So, you know, they were like, nah, who's this dude on it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, you know. So, you know, they had they had had me uh taking off the the uh, the mainstream version that they dropped. Mm -hmm. But fit is so much more real nigga, bro. He still put out our version. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Made our own video to it. Wow, he put his own budget you know behind it. Yeah, dope. yeah, made our own video to it. You know what I'm saying? For real, put that shit out. And I was like, man, that's real nigga shit. And I love you the way how you recognize that. Because then you had to do that. I like the way how you recognize it because sometimes people do things for other people and they don't appreciate mm -hmm. it, but you appreciate it. And yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm appreciative of everything because I know what the, what the fuck I could be. No, it's because you was <laughs> raised by your grandma. That's you know what why. Saying? That too. You know I'm going to tell you but something. Now, I, I just know, you know what I'm saying? I know mm -hmm. what could be happening. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm real. a big 50 Cent fan, bro. Right. I'm not no big Eminem fan. Uh. I'm not no big uh, uh, none of them other niggas fans. I'm just telling you right now, I'm a big Fifty Cent fan, mm -hmm. and I don't. I'm, I'm gonna stand on what I stand on. Ever since that nigga come out, that nigga came out hard. I don't care who got him. That yeah. nigga was gonna go now. That Dre, them Dre beats though. And he ain't was nothing jamming, to play though. with nigga. He was jamming. You know what I just said? Them Dre yeah, beats. And that's but, one I, thing. but I'm a big fan of that nigga, man. Unskippable. Unskippable. Un unskippable. Unskippable, bro. You can't skip you no can't song. You can't skip bro. no song. But I love his music, but when I really lo loved him even more is when I saw how he elevated from not just music, but he started doing film and production yeah. and all of that. Yeah, exactly. That made me respect him on a totally exactly. different level. And when I listened to his book, yeah, that's like something totally different, too. Yeah, and man, I love that about him. Yeah, because he get it, man. He, un he understands... You know what the people want, yeah, and what the people expect from him. Let's get down, him. man. I, I gotta go in. Uh, that Tony mm -hmm. Yayo song, "Haters," man. Oh yeah, like, man. Hey, Shout listen, to man. Shorty. Rest in peace, Shorty. Shorty low. low. That's the whole Shorty game. Low. That's where I was coming. Mm. That's yeah. how I was coming, nigga. Yeah. Period. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, cause I'm a big Shorty Low fan. His son be on here a lot. Uh -huh. You know. Uh, just like uh, Lil Soldier Slim be on here, I rock His with the junior. ones. Yeah, I rock Soulja. with them ones, man. Yeah, so I wanted. Slim. I always take that time, you know, to ask. When I seen that, I was like, man, nigga, that, that nigga had spent some time with Charlie Low, man. How was that, <laughs> bro? <laughs> yeah, man, Low was a wild. I ain't gonna say, you know, he was a wild like that, you heard? But he was real, like, you know, what I'm saying, just you did all around player, you know, what I'm saying yeah. for real, bro, yeah. like. You know, like he was one of them niggas that you know, like he had it. He went, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it, let you know he had it. You yeah, know what yeah. So what, when y'all did that music, bro. how was it? Like, yeah, man, was, yo, shout out to was, Yayo, was man. My, that was that was my first time. Real talk. That was my first time meeting Charlie Lil and Yayo. That was your first time. Yeah, like I only knew Fifty. You get what I'm saying? I only knew Fifty, and uh, that happened. Matter of fact, that was the first thing we did when I got out the hospital. As soon as I got to the hospital, I went met him at the hotel, and uh, he played the song for me. And he was like, you, you know, you, you fuck with that song? And he ain't like I'm about to tell you no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm like? I'm like, yeah, fuck it right. Yeah, but like, all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, you don't want to put a verse on it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We gonna fly to Atlanta. We flew straight to Atlanta that night. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to fly to Atlanta that night, and uh, we're going to shoot the video tomorrow. Wow. Tonight, yeah, he was like, we're going to fly to Atlanta tonight, we're going to shoot the video tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now, mind you, I'm fresh out of the hospital, but I ain't get a chance to go to therapy. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, everybody. I'm still fucking moving you like fast. a turtle. You, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm scared to fucking pop the staples in me and shit. You know what, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, we get there. We record it. I recorded my verse about Jazzy Faith. You know what I'm saying? About Jazzy Faith Studios. You know what I'm saying? And he was so, like, he was just always, like, impressed with, like, how fast I work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I guess, like, shit a nigga go through, dog, some shit leave you lyrically inclined, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I always just got some shit I could just rap and talk about. Go hard. So, yeah, so, like, you know, when we got in there, you know what I'm saying, they played the shit, like, I'm, I'm already on it. They offered in my version probably about, about 10 minutes. You get what I'm saying? Like, real talk. And he was like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? We had this shit booked for like four hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and it fucked him up, you know what I'm saying? For real, yeah. That's you know? all God done gifted you, bro. It's, and, and, I'm just, and, and I'm just like, uh, I ain't gonna front. I'm trying to get beef from Jazzy Faye. You know what I'm saying? Like, while we in here, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you tried to fade, nigga, give a nigga a beat, nigga, fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. But, uh, what you know it? He didn't, you know. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, you know. What I'm saying? And we ended up, uh, you know, just just going to get some rest and stuff, you know what I'm saying, uh, and shit like that. And that morning, um, we got to meet, uh, you know, I got to meet everybody like on a uh, on a video set and stuff. You did, yeah, yeah. And, he pulls you know what up, saying? yeah, and all that, yeah, bro. And, and it was crazy, man. That same day, bro. MTV was there. Wow. Yeah, you did. And they filmed us. And this nigga 50 made me show my fucking shit bag on MTV. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> on MTV. I used to say, bro, thank, thank God I'm a clean nigga, bro. And I had my shit clean. Like, and there wasn't no <laughs> shit in there and shit. You know what I'm saying? You was doing it. For real. You heard that boy? Like, yeah, because you know, you know, kid, you know what I'm saying? You know, he from New Orleans. You know, he come from there. You know what I'm saying? He go to show him, kid. <laughs> show him. I'm like, damn, my nigga. Like, God damn. Bro, how I gotta ask you this, man. Like you, you bring up fifty, crazy. man, and you got fifty, you got Lloyd Banks, you got a yeah. bug, you got all these niggas. How did you deal with mm -hmm. that whole just going into that whole routine, you know what I mean? With with all of them like that. Man. And they had their issues, we know that. Yeah, yeah. Man, how did you for maneuver? Me, for me, bro, you know I'm a fan first. You know what I'm saying? And so, just being around these dudes, you did, knowing that they already established platinum artists and everything. You know what I mean? Like I said, the same thing with Wayne. I'm trying to be where y'all niggas at. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to work as hard as y'all or harder than y'all. You feel yeah. me? And that's just where I was with it. You know what I mean? And um, just, but just being around them, you know, it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like regular for me. You know, wow. you know what I mean? Like, it, it was regular for me, bro, because that's one thing you did. You could have... All the money in the world, more than me, whatever, nigga. But once we get in that fucking booth, it's up. You know what I'm saying? We get in that studio, you hear me? You did. It's on. You did, you hear me? You did. You could be an eight foot tall nigga, you hear me? We get in that studio, nigga, you back to five five. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, did <Real>. you? <laughs> That's good stuff, man. So, did you really like, like, when you think about where you at now, like, how did you mm -hmm. make the decision? Did you just leave young, young money or, or, or nah, squad up? How um, did you end up moving to, you know, yeah. changing labels yeah. and all that nah, stuff? Nah, it was more like, no, like during, even during all, my bad, during all of that, you know what I'm saying? I always had my own company. I always had radio. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Um, it felt like the situation with Wayne, it was just more of like, after we did the Mrs. Officer record and... You that, was know, good. that was a hard record, man. Man, what classic, bro. You I'm going to get saying? into that Grammys, next, so you can just shit. go right on into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, after we did the Men's Officer record, you know, and I wasn't there for the video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, video. yeah. of course I felt some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause Why he leave you out? You know what I mean? I guess it was, you know what I'm saying? You're going to chuck it up to like a miscommunication or thing. You know what I'm saying? I guess, you hear me? But at the same time, like, you know, like during that time, it was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know that was a that was big, big song. Fucking, like, still is, yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, still spent on the radio every day. So you felt a way about that? Yeah, you know, cause I'm like, damn, man. You know, cause cause uh, see, when I was around Wayne and with Wayne, you know, of course, you know, we did a lot of squad of mixtapes and yeah, all that. Yeah, for sure. So, so it was a lot of people that knew my voice, but they didn't know my face. 
You get what I'm saying? I know, like, I knew that. That, fucking, that was going to do that, it. Man, that what, was going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have been able to walk outside. You know what I'm saying? Around that time. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you knew that in, in dur during that real-time episode of it happening. Yeah, exactly. And it was just and it was just more like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was still I was still ignorant in high head back then. You know what I'm saying? So of course. I, I wasn't so I wasn't trying to hear, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't trying to hear a reasoning and stuff at that time. You get know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. For real, you know. And uh, you know, I do like man, fucking like them. You know what I'm saying? I was on some like shit. I'm, I'm gonna get mine out the streets. It is what it is. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, I'm good yeah. because at that time. You know, Wayne was my only outlet yeah. for the industry and rapping and stuff like that. Like, I ain't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? I, I lacked the, the uh, you know, the networking skills. Like, Correct. I didn't know that's what I had to be doing. Mm -hmm, you get know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. Like, for real, I had to pick up on all of that shit. You get what I'm saying? For real, for real. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, grind it out, bro. But we still maintain, like, you know what I'm saying? It's You know what I'm saying? It's like... It's like if you, you know what I'm saying, might get into it with your brother or something, you know what I'm saying? Your big brother might leave you out from the club or something. You know what I'm saying? You're like, nigga, fuck you, nigga, you left me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You left you know, I was supposed to be in the club that night. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> but at the same time, you know, fuck it, did. Y'all going to end up back in the club the next week. You that's get what real. I'm saying? But did, and that's how it kind of was. How was Birdman? Was he even involved at that? Did he even talk to you during this time? Uh, nah, man. When Slim I, when and I was Birdman, wrong, Wayne, you didn't talk to none of them. Yeah, you know, you talked to Bird every night. Like, when you see him, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But for the most part, I was around Wayne. Wayne. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I was around Wayne, you feel me? Like, you know, like, her man and all them, they always did their own shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real, like, we was really, like, separated, like, you know what I mean? We was like, really separated. Yeah, you know, like, we did, was doing our own thing over here. Y'all younger, too, that a lot younger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know, so it was like, we was doing our thing over here, you know, they was doing their thing over there, but, you know, everybody still was together. Family, but it's day. just, yeah. yeah, but you got, like, that's that's what people mm -hmm. don't understand. I think a lot of times people ask me why I don't hang with this person, why, when, when you the age mm -hmm. limit that I am, and then you look back at somebody that's 30, I, I have no reason to be, mm -hmm. I'm be honest with you, because, I'm an older cat, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll talk, we'll have some conversations, mm -hmm. but me just being with this person, I'm gonna go pick him up every day, that's yeah. not for to happen, my yeah. nigga. You that's know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you, that's you, a fact. Because you gotta understand your peers. Yeah. Me and, me, and Big, me and Big Gib was talking about that, just mm -hmm. understanding the people that, that's yeah. your peers, bro. Yeah. Like when I'm dealing with Gib, Bun them, it's a different level because those are the people that, you know, kind of can talk my language, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I respect everybody's, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's level. Because right. everybody, when it comes to age, we've all walked. You niggas know a little bit, but them them kids in there right now will whoop your butt when it comes down to that <laughs> phone and moving <laughs> and, 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 and maneuvering on TikTok. And, you know, so fact. you got to respect it. You That's know what I'm saying? Fact, so boy. I can't talk the language no way if I wanted to in certain certain levels, right? That's a fact. Man, so, you know, I think you, you, you're you a different type of dude, man, because for you to still last after all these years, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's something in itself, man. What would, I mean, you you just did a song with BG, this nigga yeah, home, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, man. Like, yellow, and, and they were giving him a little hell, right like, y'all tape go hard, yellow nigga. tape out right now, what all was platform, that? video, all that. How did you, did you already know BG? Um, you know, I didn't, like, know him, know him, you know what I'm saying? But of course, you know, like, we we from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? New Orleans small as shit. So we always gonna know the same people. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like I can know ten people that's around you but not know you. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know yeah. What I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's kinda like what it was with us, you did. So uh you know, of course, you know, when he came home, um, you know, he was doing his thing, you dig, and uh my partner uh Menace and uh, my partner CJ, you know, they just gave me a call, like, yo, you know what I'm saying, man, you you got something you want, you know, BG to get on, whatever, whoop -de -whoop. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they around them, you know what I'm saying? It's the people, too. So I'm like, yeah, even though I didn't at the time. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I ain't about to tell you no. That's right, that <laughs> opportunity. Hustle. I ain't about to tell you mm -hmm. no, for real. I went to the studio as soon as we got off the phone. Bloop, all right. Went to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Leave my first dog. That's why I really don't got no hook or nothing on that bitch. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had time to, to think, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me see what I could. Nah, <laughs> fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going go that motherfucker. Go in and send him this. Yeah. You, go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. And, uh, you know, because I knew I knew that if, if he could, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. 
jump on that like that. You know what I'm saying? J- and just because of how how it is, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's raw. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? It's just raw. You heard me? Mm-hmm. I knew if the people could hear him like that, you feel me? And next to me like that. You feel me? It, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be nice. classic, bro, and it's going to be great, especially for the city, too. And even though y'all did the video in, in Las Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah, we did the video in Vegas. On that picture right there where me and B is, he hugging me all right there at the top right there, uh-huh. me and this nigga was in Vegas then, <laughs> and, and um, we was at Magic, and the nigga came home, and, he, and I understood it because that was right before he got locked up. He yeah. went right back. To yeah. Vegas, and yeah. which I think was a good choice. I love the yeah, lights it, out there. It, 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 was it was a good choice, man. Definitely a great choice. I though. love seeing him up there, and I love seeing like he he in a good place. You yeah, know what I mean? Peace. Yeah. Seems like he got peace on him, he, man. He do, man. But them people fucking with him. Bad I know right they gonna now. do yeah. that though. You know they yeah. gonna do that, but bro. Not, but how they doing it is, is they gonna do up, it, bro? Like, like this ain't like, for us, on, bro. That shit, that shit just crazy, bro. You think somebody care about us like that? I'm gonna be nah, real. Nah, they don't care, nah, bro. Nah, 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 they don't. They we don't gotta, we, we know this is coming, We but they can't never lock this up. You know mm, what I'm saying? That's a fact. They can't never lock this up. So he he gonna be fine, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They I gonna know, play man, games. Just, the devil come just, to kill, steal, and that, destroy, bro, because man. Because look at the, the position he's already in. He's on like house he arrest. He can't move around like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, music is his livelihood. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is how you feed his family. This is what you did keeps him going. You know what I mean? Even when it's mentally, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, music really helps you a lot. You know what I'm saying? It a does. lot of places. And when you trying to take that away from him, you get what I'm saying? Like, what you, you know what I mean? Like, 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 what, what do y'all expect this man? You know what I mean? For real, bro, and it's fucked up, man. So he had to come back to New Orleans and stuff, didn't he? Yeah, the, uh, to, I seen him with GDP, do, him yeah. and GD and all of them. I seen the pictures. Yeah, but they always say, "Well, don't kill you, make you stronger." And I really oh, yeah. believe. Oh yeah. But this is how I always look at it because you know we older now, so we can mm-hmm. look back on things that we've been through in our life, and mm-hmm. we realize that when God put us through different situations, as much as at the time when you're going through it, you're like. Oh my God, how am I going to even survive this? How, you know, you mad, you this, you that. Yeah. But as time passed, you realize that if you didn't go through this, he wouldn't have blessed you with this. Mm. He was preparing you for something that was mm. coming. Wow. She you see what on. I mean? That's She'll go fact. there. So She'll people got to think about it in that way. <laughs> Don't <laughs> always just indulge in all of the trauma and all the everything that you, you're going through, the, the mm-hmm. trial that he putting you through right now. Mm-hmm. Be positive and like, you know, I'm going to overcome this. I'm not going to let this break me. Yes. Because I know he going to bless me once I get out of this. That's a fact. That's real. That's all you got to do. That's, a, that's, that's a hard fact. That's hard yeah. facts, real. to be honest with you. So, Quavo, that's your homeboy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to ask you this question, nigga. <laughs> Don't try to get out of it. Uh, uh, Chris Brown <laughs> drops a whole dish. R&B is... Rah, rah, rah. So you got the answer this, man. Hey, you heard, you, heard the, you heard the Quavo diss? I ain't heard it yet. He dropped his, too. He did? Yeah. He I mean, I'm, I'm, just just trying, I'm just trying to see where you at with it, man. You got to hear both of them. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but, yeah, but but the thing is this right like you know I'm cool with both of them niggas man and um but you know I'm I'm, I'm more you know what I'm saying cool with Quavo bro I've been around them dudes for Hello, for time. years you know what I'm mm-hmm, saying mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. man like from the first QC you know what yeah. I'm saying <laughs> yes. for real you know um shout out to them man rest in peace take off man for real bro and um you know I, I it's lame bro like over over a female is lame. You that's, get what that's, I'm saying? That's, that's real. Like, 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 I can see if, you know, I mean, you know, y'all had real problems, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, something actually happened, you hear me? But, um, you know what I'm saying? You feel the kind of way. Cause, come on, bro. It, for one, if you dating an industry female, bro, you got to know she's been passed around. You is not the first and only. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, don't you? Why do they <laughs> keep course, doing bro. that, though? Why? I can't understand that. You see these females because they post it. They here. post it on Instagram all the time, oh, and yeah. you see, oh, this oh, person yeah. had a baby by this one, <laughs> that baby by this one. Why you keep going to go mess with the same woman? Is an ego thing with men? I what is it? Say, man, did you me, play that game? I really, yeah, when I first got to it, it was that same. What you mean? I'm coming straight for the block. I'm around that but hood, bitch, with nappy hands and stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm around the only fat minute models, and what? She won't fuck with me. 
Let's come on. Let's you don't go. know she done met by the other mother nigga. I didn't care. He didn't care. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> I didn't care for real. You hear me? Like, so I guess that's what it is. On. They don't care. But nah, nah, nah. For me, like I said, man. You know, I, 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 ain't, I ain't really know no better. I was, you know, what I'm saying, for real. You hear me? Young and just having fun. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because you know, when you seeing everything for the first time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like what the fuck? You know what I mean? For real, like it, it fucks you up. <laughs> for real, I can only imagine. Like for real, bro. Like that, sh- that shit have fucked you up for real. But, but my whole thing is, but even then, like I always understood that. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with a nigga like me, I know you. Know, you know what I'm saying? This man, him, you know what I'm saying? I, right. I know what's going on with you. You get what I'm saying? And it's like. For anybody to get in any feelings, man, behind, you know what I'm saying, any female like that, bro, like, come on, bro, it's 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 not it's not that serious, you know what I mean? It's Espe- an and especially thing. especially if you are a person of a certain stature, mm-hmm. yeah, you get what I'm saying, man. There's a million females on you every day, you get what I'm saying, man. One one you'll get over that one, replace that one with thirty, you'll be all right. Come on, man, Chris Brown. <laughs> That's yeah. what I, that what Come I'm on, saying. My nigga. That what I'm saying. Yes, man, Brown. man, you man, look, replace that one with thirty. At about at the end of another thirty, forty years, you ain't worrying about her no more. Man, you know man, have something called ego, and that's what it is. Ego can be your worst amigo, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me ask you this: Don't don't go into that no more, man. Let them <laughs> let them have that bra, man. If that's what they want, bro. Hey. If she got babies, buy him one of them. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. For real. Think about it. If it was a child involved, it's really bad. Man. We don't know who it is at this point. We probably wouldn't even been no diss songs. <laughs> but what you think about? But that's crazy because what you think about a lot of these females who be using these children as cash cows. Really, oh, when they go, they a lot of these celebrities they try yeah. to purposely have kids go on by in them. The hood too. That's, that's just the same thing. Yeah, that's, that shit been going on from the test of time. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but um, but yeah, man, like you know, I definitely don't agree with it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You know, just speaking from a man's perspective, you feel me? Because right. they don't make things about the child; it be mostly about them. Yeah, wow. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because somebody else came on here. Um, I think it was um, Jason Mitchell, and he said that in the middle Shout of making love. Shout out to Jason Mitchell, man. Shout out to Jason Mitchell, man. <laughs> yeah, he was all there. Yeah. That a New Orleans native. Exactly. Yeah. I told you they be here. Yeah. This thing, man. And he New said, Orleans. New Orleans be in the building, man. He That's said crazy. in the middle of making love to this chick, she talk about, mm. will you make me famous? Will you make me famous? In the middle. <laughs> say, bro, and see, that's what I'm saying, bro. Say, bro, dog, I blame the internet, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's, you know, people not intellectual no more, they intellectual. You know what I'm that's saying? That's real. Like, like that's that what I say, bro. And everybody, everybody move according to what social media like. You get what I'm saying? Everybody move according to that. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, well, it's just like, if you get a girl a gift, right, and she feel like it's not good enough to post, she don't want it. She don't Ain't care about crazy. it. She gonna make you Ain't feel bad crazy. about it. She don't, for real, for real. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this world is to change on us, bro. It, it's crazy. <laughs> I got. I want to ask you about the Ninth Ward, man. Like, who right. is who the hardest? Who the hardest uh, rapper to come out of Ninth Ward, man? Besides me? Yeah, man. Oh. The biggest. <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> the, you the biggest. Yeah, that nigga say the biggest. You, gotta, uh, you know what I'm saying? You got Fatty right there. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. You know. Um, you got the YD man. Shout out to YD, YD the Ellis. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, he both been coming. I think he called and said he was coming. Somebody told me. Yeah. Uh, I think it was the dude, Big Big Steve. Uh, one of his uncles called me. Was yeah. trying to get him on the show. Yeah. He, and he got a night. I didn't even yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, he got a night. That's yeah. hard. Shout out to YD man. Um, Ryder James. You know what I'm saying? James. Wow, uh, that's another one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm going to cross him up when I see him. Sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, you did. You got a Max Payne, man. Uh, you see, man. You know, the Rob 49. Yeah. But the yeah. Rob, he, he really like out the Iberville, though. Yeah, that's okay. the full wall. Okay. But, you know, he repped the nine, so, you know what I'm saying? You know, he repped the nine wall, too. You feel me? So, you know, Charlie Rob. Uh, shit, man. It's, it's, it's a lot it's of a us, lot of there, bro. You. It's a yeah. lot of us, bro. For real, bro. Um, you know, rest in peace, uh, Mr. Magic. You know what I'm wow, saying? Wow, Mr. Magic. Yeah, but he was the first nigga out the nine wall to really, really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real. Um, 
you know, you got, you know what I'm saying, your legends, your dead feel I feel, L O G. You get what I'm saying? Man, I, I, I just really? in, in, like you want in, in, but in, in too many of us like out the nine that really, really, you know, took it all the way like in the to that level. You know what I'm saying? Like besides like you know the ride, what he doing now? Yeah, you feel yeah. Me, for real, and I love the fact that you know what I'm saying. You know he, he repping downtown with it. You get what I'm saying? You know the YD. I'm sure he up next. Wow, you know what I mean? For real, I like for that. Real. I like that. Would you work with any one of those guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I already got. I got a song with Lil YD on. That's uh, hard. Yeah, he, did, he on my last project that I dropped. Uh, Street Fame. He did, which is out right now on all platforms. Come on, now that boy. Yeah. See, you experienced. He ain't gonna let it be known, nigga. Don't let yeah. it be known. Yeah. Man, I, I, gotta, I gotta ask a question um, because you know a lot of people. Okay, you've been around a lot of celebrities. You've yeah. met a lot. You've been around a lot of situations. A lot of these young kids be looking up to celebrities and be like, man. I I want to be like that. I want. I want all the girls. I want all the money. I want all the fame. Yeah. What do you think is the price of fame? Man, the price of fame is losing. Is losing the loyalty that you actually have with your people. You mm. know what I'm saying? That's the price of fame. Explain the it. The price of fame is because once you get famous, you see a lot of people around you just change. You know what I'm saying? People not around you just to be you know, around you for your company because they love you and shit no more, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody go to just thinking about like how they could use you in a way. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Stuff like that, you feel me? And then you got people that want that fame also, you get what I'm saying? And they'll feel, you know what I'm saying, Some a certain kind of way if they feel like you not giving it to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get what I mean? For real, so it's like, you know, like, be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Not even just your friends, like, your family, too. You know what I mean? Like, that's the price. Like, you got to be ready for that shit. Is it worth it? Um, Yeah, it's worth it if you got the right people around you. You know what I mean? Like, if everybody understand and know, you know, like, what the fuck going on, everybody appreciate where we coming from with this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, of course, yeah. it's definitely going to be worth it. That's why, like, even in... No matter who I was with, who I did songs with, who I was around, you gonna always hear me like shout out my hood, shout out some of my partners, my, you know what I mean for real, you hear me? Cause you did, cause me making it is everybody making it. Wow. Cause you see people like Drake who can't just walk down the street. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can't yeah. just go yeah. in, in anywhere. But that, that's what you. That's what you signed up for. Mm. You know what I mean? I can't wait till the day. I can't walk down the street. I, I love to sit, sit my ass wow. inside all day. For real, yeah. Man, I, I just, um, man, I got to ask you a question. You got to give me a real answer now. Uh, you know, I be overthinking. For sure. Man, why the hell? What did P. Diddy do to 50 mm. Cent, my nigga? I don't know. Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> That shit. Why you know, the hell? Hey, you know, I, I, I don't know. Hey, 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 Fifty posted boss talk. He posted my my show. Uh -huh. With Columbus, he helped us so it. much. You know, we got so many different subscribers mm -hmm. that as soon as he did, but, but it, he I, shot I, us I, to I, the I, roof, man. right? Yeah. And, and I was like, damn, man, Fifty post. But you know what he posted mm -hmm. when Columbus Shaw said Fifty invite. I mean, when he said P, P did invited him over at. At two thirty uh, uh, and say at in, the morning, in the morning, want to go shopping and shit. That, no, that shit. it was no. just, oh, it's just me. It's oh, just oh, me. Oh, you you oh, seen oh, it? Like, yeah. Fifty He's posted like, that on, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. out of all the boss talk stuff, Fifty takes this <laughs> post. I got some good interviews, man. Yes. But I just appreciate yeah. the love anyway. But yeah, I, man. But what do you think? Hey, what do you think? I, I don't know. Like you know, what like, the hell? You know, we never sat down and had a conversation. <laughs> like, yo, man, why you beefing with Diddy, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know, you heard me? But, I had to ask you, man. But something had to happen. Something happened, didn't it? You know it? what I'm saying? You he know? be on that nigga head all day. I be laughing so hard. I be like, this nigga 50, he don't uh, stop. That's yeah, yeah, that's one thing, bro. Like, if he don't fuck with you, bro, he gonna let it be known. And he want the world to know he mm -hmm. don't fuck with you. And he's, he's serious very, about it. He's very yeah. vocal, but I love yeah. it though. Yeah, I love the fact he's so vocal. And you yeah. so you so cool with everything. You just chilling. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Yeah, <laughs> you got hey, it. I tell I tell people all the time, bro. I look at life for what it is and accept people for who they are. That's all. That's yeah, a good way to look at it, man. For real, bro. I think that's the hardest way to look. At it. Let me ask you something before you get off here. Like, man, you got all these. You, you here today on Boss Talk 101. Yeah. You got uh, GD GDP down there in New Orleans. Yeah, shout out to you GD, got man. Uh, you got uh, my boy B High. You got uh, mm -hmm. Real Life. You got all these different platforms that everybody's going on. 
what do you think about it? Like, far as the way podcasting is kind of interjected, nah. every you know, it changed man, the game I, I, on I, a I, lot of I, things. I kind of, you know, what I'm saying, I like it, bro. You like it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like it, man, because you know, everybody got a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? And it's good that there's so many platforms out there, like, cause they might got all this, you know what I mean, that love. You know what I'm saying? Boss talk. But they can't make it to boss talk because they weed somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They probably don't, and they ain't know what's going on, you feel me? But they could probably get to somewhere else, you know what I'm and saying? And that platform out there, <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. Right, you feel me? You might see them on there and contact them. Like, yo, what's up, bro? You got an interesting story. It was, a, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, all that's you know what I'm saying like it's great bro like I, I like that shit I, do you like the way like like I say my boy GD down there in New Orleans yeah, I would say he read it all GD post boss talk GD more than anybody in New Orleans watch how he pulls this shit I talk to GD every day bro oh, really yeah I talk to GD every day that's hard bro how, I know what I like about GD bro like GD really, he gonna pick, he, you know about the city with do you, he know about the city though huh Do he, is he real informed on what's going on yeah in the city in New Orleans Fucking right. <laughs> How important right. is GD for the city? Um, and nigga can run for mayor if he want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just got that street for cash because, money because, because you know, like everybody support him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He's standing on positivity. You know what I'm saying? Even though you know, of course, you know, you do the blog shit. You gotta post the <laughs> gotta negative, the negative right. too. also with the positives. But still, in all, you know what I'm saying? It's all a, a positive message that he's still putting out there, mm -hmm. as far as just supporting whether you're a local artist, big name artist, whatever. Just, and not just in New Orleans, like all over Louisiana. All over. Period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, he, he, he a very important asset to the city, man. Wow, awesome. it's funny, man. Me and GD, even Webby, Webby posted when GD was on here. Like, uh -huh. he, he put it on his page. I think he pinned it. Like, we, <laughs> we, we be on it, man. We be trying to rep this South thing, man, and right. trying to push up this information so people can see right. what you what you guys about, man. Yeah, like, man. the way y'all yeah. spit it, you know what I'm saying? The yeah, way you just man. rapped on here, man, the way you <laughs> dropped them right. I mean, that's some feel-good music, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we need that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I know, bro. And that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you know, I feel like, like as far as like musically, man, again, I like, gotta really like get back to that. How, it, how old is too old? Is it ever age too old to rap? Nah, man. You see what the fuck Killer Mike just? I did. just seen that. You seen what Killer Mike just did? Like, <laughs> he, he brought niggas back. You didn't seen he? what Killer Mike just did? Say, bro, like, man, look, when you, when you a great artist at what you do, you know what I'm saying? The shit that you that you do is timeless. You know what I'm saying? It's timeless, bro. For real, bro. So it's like, you know, shit like, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta believe in you before anybody else. You hear me? For real, seeing that be the, the fucked up thing, bro. A lot of people listen to so much outside noise. You get what I'm saying? To where they get discouraged and, you know what I mean? You know, no, I and, get it. And, and, and it make them feel like, nah, I ain't doing this because I, I might look crazy because, you know what I mean? They gonna feel like this if I do this. Man, man fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> like real talk cause they, like they not about to pay your bills nigga they ain't about to, you know what I'm saying for real you know what I mean you gotta, you gotta go for what you know man you gotta do what you gotta do it's 50, it's 50 on ever. Have you been in, was you in power yet? Yeah, I was in power. I thought you was in power, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't get no sex scene. 50 wrong for that shit, man. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah. You heard me? Oh, 50 wrong for that shit, yeah, man. Bro. You should have gave me a sex scene. You should have let you get out, man. Nigga, you should have let you get out. Man, you know damn well, 50. My nigga want to get one out, kid, kid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this boss talk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this right, boss right, talk, nigga. Right, Just right, let my boy right, get one right, in. Right, but now, let's get back into it, man. <laughs> so, what, what, let me ask you this. I'm so proud of 50, man. But what do you know? I'm from, third, I'm from like 20 miles away from Shreveport. What are you doing in Shreveport, man? I love to see what he doing, man. Yeah, that's amazing, man. that's man. amazing, man, that's bro. Amazing. I love that's this dude, man. Amazing, and what man. he do, man, I'm being real, like, I love the stand-up way he just keep pushing his entrepreneurship, man. Uh -huh. That nigga, ever since he hit the block, is, I get money. This nigga ain't never stopped hustling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, well, that's the thing, man. One thing I learned, bro, is like money attracts money. That's you know real. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. The more money, the more money you accumulate, man, the more you're going to get into, you know what I'm saying, bigger situations. That's real. You know what I mean? For real. You know what I mean? Bigger situations, bigger investments. You know what I'm saying? 
So you gonna I can expect to see you on the big screen down there? Yeah, man, of course, man. You gonna be down there in Streetport mm-hmm. getting yeah. to it? Yeah, I'm gonna knock on the butt though. You got to, you, you got know, to get, yeah. you got to rip you know, this got, thing. Uh, you know, I got two of my own movies out okay. also, you know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga Nat, man. Uh, it's called Trying to Come Up, you know what I'm saying? That's part one up. and part two, you feel me? Streaming right now, you did. You know what I'm saying? Where, on, where is on, it at? On, on Tubi? Tubi? That's all. You know that shit on Tubi. You know that's the nigga network. But the nigga network is <laughs> getting better and better. It's going to be the best. Watch what I tell oh, you. Man, man, Fuck some of that trust, shit, man. Trust me. We know. That shit going. We know. For real. And at the same time, you know what I'm saying? When you watch our movies, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't the average. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all put that it, sauce it, on it. Yeah, it's, it's really dope as shit. Really dope as man. shit. Straight up. Who would you like to work with? Um, what? As far as on, on the movie side. Oh, shit, nigga. You, if if, I, if I, I, gonna I, put I you like in part, wait a minute, and he will go go on, let you get that sex scene. Mm. Go on, tell the truth. Mm. You been watching Power. You been watching mm. uh, Canaan, what raising Canaan. Raising you don't watch uh-huh. the BMF. Yeah. I mean, you get to get in the scene. You get to pick. God, yeah, damn. nigga. What, which one? Who you who you bringing on? You can even bring somebody. Like, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who, who you bringing? <laughs> Y'all got to work it out, man. <laughs> Oh. Hey, look! I ain't gonna lie, right here. But nah, but nah, nah. I, I'm gonna say, um, who would you bring? Let me see, man. Cause so I said, though, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot of made it, man. Oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm trying, to paint, bro. Bro, you get to wear them little shorts. I think they say y'all wear them little shorts. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. like you're in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, it's so many, bro. I ain't gonna front, bro. Oh, um, but uh. I definitely take one of them Lala scenes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I knew it was coming. I would take what? Yeah, yeah and, you a, and you a method actor. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, yeah. I got a little sex scene in my movie too. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing the games. Nah. Practicing. Yeah, I've been, I've been practicing. Yeah, I've been practicing. I, I think I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Say, man. I'm ready. Hey, out of out of out of uh. Tony Yayo, uh, uh, what's it, Lloyd Banks, uh, Buck, uh, mm-hmm. uh, which one? Which, which one of them would you really do like when you talk to him when you came into this group outside of Fifty? Because we know Fifty was uh-huh. detrimental. Like that, they gave you some great advice, man. Uh, yeah, yo, bro. I, was I thought yeah, you were gonna say yo. That's a loyal nigga right there. Yeah, bro. Like yeah, because he was the like I said before. I met well, I been met Banks, bro. I met Banks like. A couple really? times. Yeah, you like, see him on the picture with me right there. Me and Lord yeah, Banks, yeah. like, like, I'm like, like I'm I think Banks. that nigga can rap, nigga. I just love yeah, the way that yeah, nigga man, rap, man. Yeah, man, Banks, you know what I'm saying? It was true, bro. Um, you know, I've been met Banks a couple of times before I was around. He quiet, ain't he? Yeah, ain't super quiet. That nigga ain't been talking to nobody. When I met him, that nigga didn't barely talk. He just standing there taking the pants. and niggas, what's yeah. up, nigga? That's a, that, that's a fact. <laughs> and that's how he is. Even when he said, what's up, he probably was like, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and went right back to <laughs> yeah, for real. That's how he is, for real talk. Wow. And then we like that, bro, for real. But um but yeah, man, like yeah, yo drew one of the people like from day one, man, and you know, he loved, you know what I'm saying, my energy and you know what I'm saying? It's like when you around people that been doing that shit for a long time, you know, you come and you come around and it's your first time doing all this. It it gives them a, a chance to experience it all over again too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Make yeah. them feel like it's their first time yeah, all yeah, over hard. again. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? No, that's For hard. Real. That's hard. For and real. he made you feel good about just being in the mix. Oh and- hell yeah. What was the craziest yeah, thing yeah. he done? Don't lie. Who Give me? it up. Who no, me? him. In the midst of everything. You and him, something that happened. Oh, Give me a story, man. nigga. Bro, bro, we Quit trying to hold the shit, jewels because y'all niggas was all in there all concert man. mode and shit. Nigga, give it up. Man, we you did know a lot of shit, bro. Let like, the people know what happened. You know what I mean? Some, some shit, you heard me? <laughs> no, I can be the good shit, man. You, know, you got to give I'm up saying, this. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I, 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 don't, I don't know my part of the situation. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? But, you know, it was a lot of shit going on, man. Like, you know, shout out to Who Kid, as I was saying. Oh, shit! You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Who Kid. You know what I'm saying? For real. You dig? And shout out to the, uh, the hotel. You know what I'm saying? For real, you dig out that friend. I ran up a $5,000 hotel bill. Wow! 
Oh, Del, for real. Messing around. Not, nah, because I'm out there and I, I got to call everybody. You know what I mean, nigga? This is what's going on right now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real, she don't speak English, nigga. Like, same as Astrid. Same as Astrid. I need you to do this. Yeah, bitch, it's going down. Oh, no, damn. It's going down. Boy, hey, y'all, y'all boys tore up the city, didn't you, real, man? Son. Y'all uh, tore up the city, man. The city was yeah. in trouble when y'all hit this city, oh, man. Oh, man. What? See, bro. Man. Hey, so, oh, so top man. three artists of all time, did on live man top oh, three man, artists for sure. it can be rap it can be Pac, any genre Slim Pac Slim um Pac Slim it's the top three jeez who gonna any genre three? um and me there it is there it is I, I, I was waiting <laughs> nigga you ain't said nigga I wasn't gonna say it for Pac, you Pac Slim and me <laughs> I wanna know okay tell me about an artist cause everybody Cause not everybody come out and make it, right? But some mm-hmm. people come out and they're still so good, although they don't make it. Tell me, mm-hmm. name one artist that fell off or, Damn. or you know, Damn. or, no, hold on, <laughs> or got discouraged. When I say fell off, it, cause some people come in the industry thinking the industry yeah. is a certain way and then when they get yeah. into it, they realize that, man, I can't deal with this politics. I can't deal with all of this all, stuff all and then, right. I know what you and mean. then back like, off. Like, like, I didn't, right. Like, like, but like, they were so it. talented, so good that you wish that they had continued their journey because you know that they uh, would have, you know what I mean? Man. Uh, if, can you come up with that one artist? Yes. Um, I will say uh, L.O.G., right? Um, he's a, a New Orleans legend. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I loved L.O.G. style so much. You know what I'm saying? As a kid, like, you know, growing up listening to him because he was way before his time. Mm. The way that he rapped, you know what I'm saying? The way, you know, he was putting his words together, you know what I mean? For real, like, I kind of, like, started emulating my style off of that. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And, and and especially, like, from him being out the night wall, you know what I mean? For real, bro. And I know just... Being in, you know, like, it was had to be, like, you know, just being in the streets, you know what I'm saying, in that city, you feel me, get discouraging, and running into, you know, a lot of bad situations, you right. know what I'm saying, with music, you know what I'm saying, to discourage you, you feel me, for real, um, but now... You know what I mean? Because, you know, I keep tabs with him, you know what yeah, I'm so saying? He's still alive. Yeah, of course. Shout out to I L-O-G. keep tabs with him, bro. And, uh, you know, he he do beats and stuff now, That's you know good. what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, you, you know, you always send me tracks and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but I know, you know what I'm saying? Because I always tell him, like, nigga, you, you need to get, get back, back on yeah, that get back in the booth, bro. <laughs> because, say, bro, he got one of the most, like, you know what I'm saying? Distinctive mm-hmm. flows, yeah. bro. Like, like really be spitting. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real, bro. And he held it down for the nine, bro. You know what I'm saying? When we ain't really had nobody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As far as like rapping, mm-hmm. rapping you know what I mean? I wanna, uh, I'm, I wanna end on this note, man. Like, uh, mm-hmm. you, like I said, I thank you for coming on the show, man. Like, um, I, thank I appreciate y'all for having you. Me, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up on us, man. Anytime you in this area, man, yeah. you got to come through and see Boss Talk One Hundred and One, bro. <laughs> That's I'm fact. serious, bro. You always will. Fact, and bro. if you need anything, I'm here. Like, once I link right. in with you, it's up. Like, nigga, Man, when I pull up, up I, I'm be like, nigga, where you at? I'm talking, though. I'm the one of the niggas that will pull up. I've been in New right. Orleans. What, we did this yeah. show down we there a few times. We need to go back again. We, they we want us back. Because I go right. down there and set up, shop. I be, yeah, like, man. chilling. Shit, you need to. Because they love the real, show, bro. bro. And I always see the New Orleans people, man. I love y'all, bro. Y'all, this the culture, bro. It's just, I'm six miles from Louisiana, where I'm from, you know. Uh-huh. Like I almost was over that line, nigga. I like to bend from Louisiana. I'm right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the Cattle right. Lake, man. Right. So I just, man, I always value. And I love what you guys bring to the table as far as the music go. Yeah. So don't stop doing this music, man. We need all this y'all That's can give fact. us, bro. That's and I already fact. know it ain't nobody down there. Uh, you know, uh, who the... Who who touching Manny Fresh down there, man? When it come to producing, bro. Oh man, man, you got uh, Le man, D-Day. you know what I'm saying? It, it, you got a D Day right now. He's he going shaking, hard. He's shaking the city up. Little D Day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, D Day. Okay, I don't remember the city that. Up. Um, you got D Day. You got Black and Mild. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know some day down there getting to it. Yeah, man, Black and Mild. You know he produced for Drake and all that shit, man. He ain't playing no game. Yeah, man, for real. Is Drake um, really that good, man? Cause they say this nigga, man, he can't yeah. miss, bro. Hey, 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 when they all I can say, you heard what I just hey, said? He's not he, when missing he can, when he can in young money, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, look, you know, on that one song when he come on, he say, I had hit records on my demo. That nigga wasn't lying, he wasn't lying, you know what I'm saying? Like, the song that he had 
on his <laughs> demo tape was some of the biggest songs he and put man, out. And you seen this nigga when he first came over there? Yeah, I was there. What yeah. was this shit like, bro? Come on, bro, get it up for um, me. Real talk, bro. We, well, was nigga, la- we was laughing. You laughing at that nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we weren't laughing at him. You know what I'm saying? It was more the pre- presentation, right? Because, you know, look, 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 because, you know, look, before you, before you came on a bus and everything, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, before you met him, you feel me? You know, nigga just come through, nigga give you a fold of poop. You know what I'm saying? So like, like the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You gotta say, you know, niggas, niggas is hood niggas. Yeah, niggas, you know, niggas, 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 niggas is shit like this. So you know, nigga over the folder, you know, he got his little head shots and all kind. Of, you know what I'm saying? You know the pauses. So you know we, you know we looking at it, like man, this nigga man, we, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and you know, like if you know, they were like, oh man, you know, that dude was. You know what I'm saying? You know, he played on the grassy. And, I remember. And I'm like, the, like, what the fuck is the grassy? You know, like, niggas, niggas, niggas ain't watching the grassy. That's you know another reason to laugh. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> and so, uh, but for real, though, when a nigga cut that fucking tape, that fucking demo on, though, no, niggas like, ooh. Different. You hear me? Like, damn, for real. You hear me? Right then and then, when it was like, where he at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where he at? You hear me? Bang him over here, whatever. Ooh, the ooh. And uh, Lil J. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, you know yeah, Lejean had brought him over there. You know what I'm saying? Had brought him to the bus, and uh, you know he came came through there. You know what I'm saying? You know we all dead him up and shit, and you know we telling him about the songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nigga, nigga, that shit go hard, nigga. That shit, you know what I mean? For real, like was the, it singing and and yeah, and rapping? Yeah, yeah, at that time too. Yeah, he come in there like yeah, that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, if you go on YouTube now, bro, it's like a whole. Like, list of songs of me drinking wine. You know what I'm saying? You drinking wine? Yeah, me drinking wine. For real. Like, I was on the the original, uh, I want this shit forever, man. Yeah, 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 I was on the original version. Like, if you pull that song up right now, like, it's three different verses. You know what I mean? Different versions from them. You know what I'm saying? With me on there and shit wow. like that. Yeah, like, um, it was a lot I, of... Did you hold your own? I'm asking, look, man. I don't come on, man. Look. I'm me, man. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I'm me. Like, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. It's a, it's a reason why a nigga trust me to get on that shit. They know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They know. That's a fact, man. Like, it's a reason. You know I what I'm saying? Who, who had the best verse on Miss Office? Uh, <laughs> shit. You know? I'm with this book. Leave that up to the people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call myself the go. I'm going to leave that to the people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like messing with you, man. That's a, I That's keep it soft over everybody. Hey, 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 we ready for that shit. Man. Come on, man. Nah, man. I nah. like that shit too, though, nah, bro. For real, bro. This, this shit is a vibe, hip-hop, bro. No, nah, this shit is a vibe, dog. <laughs> Straight up. No, yeah, no, I think it's I'm all about having you, a good time, man. Like that's, that's what the it's people about, man. the people gonna love it. That's all I know because it's real talk. And everybody Thanks, man. everybody had these conversations, they usually a lot of time don't know how to get them out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So they be having a good time in here and it be real. It don't be fake. You know? <laughs> that's true, man. So that's I think that's a true. that's a gift in itself being for able real. to conversate, bro, for real, and bro. have a good time while you do it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, thank you for coming Hold on, on the I show. Got, oh, wait, I got yeah. a couple wait questions. I was gonna shut this whole <laughs> day. You know, What's um, up? I see this big controversy now coming up where a lot of rappers are branching off into the country music, and you hear people talking oh. about how they shouldn't. You have some people saying they should. Some people saying they've been doing it. What do you think about rappers going over? Because when you think about oh. country music, you, you have older country music people still yeah. making yeah. it and it's still oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But rap has, um, like, an age I limit. Feel, I feel like, uh, you know, if that's what you want to do, if you can actually do that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and show that, you know, you're that talented to do that, like, why not? You get what I'm saying? Like, all that comes with being an artist, like, just being a rapper doesn't stop you from being a world, you know what I'm saying, worldwide artist, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you could definitely, you know, expand your horizons to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and venture off and do country music. Like, look at Nelly. Mm-hmm. That's the first you know one I've seen really do it successfully. Mm-hmm. Exactly, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you could go ahead and you could do whatever you want to do in this shit. <laughs> Yo, because when he did real. it they weren't really talking about it as much it's just now that everybody since Beyonce and everybody else mm-hmm. popping up she with it took over it's that's like, why that, that, that hurt when she said it. Yeah. when she said this ain't yeah. Texas, Texas. Ain't, there ain't no hole yeah. I was, I was yeah. saying that I was saying in that in New York, York. Mm-hmm. I kept saying that this ain't uh, Texas nigga <laughs> 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 
I right. think she anytime she tells something, they in trouble. And I think yeah, they yeah, gonna, man. Gonna, that's yeah, gonna man. change Beyonce the water, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. But then also being a celebrity, how um careful are you? about like what you say like on podcasts or what you post oh, or what you well, say on social media because I noticed on TMZ I see where um, Post Malone had wrote a heartfelt because he did um song with Taylor Swift and he also did something with Beyonce mm -hmm. so he thanked Taylor Swift and did like a whole you know heartfelt thank you with her and how she's got this and that and that or whatever and then with Beyonce what he wrote he just said I love you Beyonce so you know the beehive coming I mean, at now, him the beehive, that's yeah, what made yeah. that what pissed Kanye off the first damn time stop playing with yeah, our bro, people man bro, bro. Kanye not gonna hear it yeah, and man. neither is so any of our see, people bro so, they, so, they, but, but so the, he's yeah. like damn if you do damn if you don't but then yeah. <laughs> But that's the thing, man. Like, you know, like, see, you can't judge people's relationships. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He probably got a deeper relationship with Taylor Swift than he got with Beyonce. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. But as far as, like, you know, being political on these podcasts and social media and stuff like that, like, you only got to worry about that when you not you. Mm. There you go. You get what I'm saying? Like, for me, like, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling my story. You know what I'm saying? For real. You're dead. Like, you know, half shit. his story won't tell who had the best verse. Nigga be copping, <laughs> nigga flying me over here, flying nigga over here. The nigga got the A and R training and going on my head. Fly the nigga. Well, look, well, look. But I'm gonna tell you this, right? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you this, dude, right? Talk to me. Who do you feel had the best verse? Well, look, no, look, look. I'm gonna ask, look, look, no, look, I'm gonna ask you this. You hear that? Nigga look, 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 no, 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 no. Turn it out, turn it out. I'm rephrase. I'm rephrase it, right? What's the line? That you remember the most about that song, from a verse on that on that record, man. When you think about it, I'm not gonna play with you, bro. I'm gonna play that game he played on me, man. You know, both of them verses, both of them verses were talking. <laughs> 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 them both were cold verses, bro. That song was a hit, like you said. So I agree, nigga. That, that, you really can't just put put one against the other. Like you said, yeah. you know, how nigga is. Yeah. So, that's, that, that's that boss talk one on one right there. <laughs> no, I love both of y'all, bro. And I'm always like I said, I embrace my people, man. Y'all niggas man. hard, Sh man. Shout out to Wayne, man. If it wasn't for Wayne, bro, I don't think I would have probably, you know, had the the confidence. You wow, know what I'm saying? Wow. To know that I can actually do this. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Because when you just, you know, an artist just, you know what I'm saying, just in your hood and you just rap, you know what I'm saying? You rapping because you love to rap. You know what I'm saying? That's just what you do, but you don't actually know how far you can go. You get what I'm saying? And when I met Wayne and he really stamped me, that showed me like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a person who you riding around listening to all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? For real, man. And that's one of the main reasons, like even with me, man, like I don't mind, like, you know, like when artists come, you know how niggas be like, yo, man, let me spit something. You know? I'll be like, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't mind sitting in it because that you never know how, how much that can affect their day. You get what I'm saying? Just by telling them, nigga, you nice. Yeah, you know I'm saying for real, bro. Like that shit. Yeah. That shit. I gotta say this. Gotta day, I gotta say this about Lil Wayne. Okay, I go gotta ahead. say this, man. Uh, Lil Soldier Slim, shout out. Say he came on my show uh -huh. and he gave this hell of a story about Lil Wayne. And he said he walked up to Lil Wayne. Him and Juvenile was together. Mm -hmm. and he said, uh -huh. "What's up, man? My daddy, look, my daddy, Soldier Slim." And and uh, that nigga said, "Man, I don't give a f about that nigga. I'm God." Damn. Do you think? <laughs> Damn. And, and Juvie say, Damn. and he told me Juvie say, you should have slid that boy or something crazy. I'm like, bro, you see it? He like, no. Nah. He say, yeah. I just didn't look at it that way. He just felt like they might have been, you know, yeah. in what was going on. But, I, but I'm gonna tell you something. But too, that's right? what he said, and I don't know I'm, if it I'm, happened that I'm way or what. I'm gonna tell you something too, right? Like, you know, he probably ain't really know. You know what I'm saying? At first, like Wayne, like he probably ain't really know. You get what I'm saying? Because there ain't no way in the world, like, just out of respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? For real, bro. Like, So I, he probably just looked at him and just, just saying anything. You know what I'm saying? He probably even, for real, like, he probably ain't even, uh, what you call that shit, like, comprehend. Registered yeah, what he said. <laughs> yeah, registered what he even said to him. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? For real. Like, because sometimes 
niggas be moving like that, and when you a person like in a statue, I think it's so many. You can't whenever wherever you walking, it's a person saying, "Yo, what's something up, to bro, you, bro, something bro, to bro. you." Yo, what's up, bro? I'm such and such people. Yo, what up? Bro? So you what just need to block it out. Yo, what up? Let me rap something. Yo, what up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you feel me? And it's like, you know, you develop a certain defense mechanism. You know, but you little soldier slim to his defense, he say he didn't take it no way. And he that's say good. He, he say because he had he he one of them dudes. He, he in the yeah. streets. You know, he's yeah. like you know I knew all the niggas is yeah. you yeah. want. So and he that, was and, like, but he didn't take and it that's that the, way. And that's the thing, bro. Like you know, I'm glad that he you know was able to understand that. And I'm pretty sure now if he run into Wayne now, you feel me? It's gonna be a different story. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He loved, he really? liked, I think he had a lot of love for Lil Wayne and he with Juvie when it happened. Yeah. Because he, he really yeah. close to Juvie, you know. So like y'all don't y'all know each other, but y'all niggas be moving different down there, bro. Yeah. Y'all niggas be. come y'all be y'all in y'all <laughs> own lane, ain't you, bro? We do, bro. I ain't no cap. <laughs> you know, hey, the man, food down cap. there. Where, where can I go get the best uh po boy nigga in town? Oh, you don't play shit. nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you, you that, nigga. You know, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to be a new artist, I would've said jeans, dog, but they closed They closed it down. down. Damn. I like Jambalaya. They closed That's jeans what I like. down, bro. Um, you know, if you're looking for, like, you know, a good meal or whatever, like she said, Jambalaya or something like that, I would say go to my road. My road should be hitting. Um, for, like, a good po' boy, my nigga, you gotta go in the hood, bro, to the store, like to the regular. Nigga, store. you look like you know where a good po' boy at. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, you look, really in the hood, look, like you go, you go to <laughs> look, look right, right when I've been. You know what I'm saying? On on hands and trap, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hands and trap, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go down your day, I be them, and let them know you're me. You dead can't send you there. <laughs> yeah, for real. You hear me? They gonna they gonna hook you up for real. That's hard, you know, so man. Yeah, yeah, I won't call you when I go down there. I'm like, man, I gotta less. get that pole boy, man. Say that. Matter of fact, started? let me let me know when you gone. I let you know. Me? You gonna pull yeah. up? Yeah, yeah I pop. That's up, hard, man. Who started yeah. that slang? You heard me. Uh, I don't damn. Know. She, she, what I swear the, the hell? It's like it's like niggas been saying that shit. Cause somebody forever. had to start it. Somebody started it. I probably don't know. I really know what you should ask her. Who started that uh blood clot? Uh, one of them crazy night they do in Jamaica. Nigga. <laughs> right. Who, who played who, you, who man? Started, who started yeah, that? Let me play. do my research. But, I, <laughs> but, 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 but I'm saying it. But it's a saying that y'all but just been saying started. forever. Though, right? I know, but somebody started. I know what the meaning of it is, <laughs> but I don't know yeah. who started it. But somebody <laughs> had to start it. You got to yeah. flip it on them, man. Don't let them play I don't you. know where it started from, but it's just, it's just a, it's it. a yeah. universal language for us now. You know wow. what I was thinking? You know, when I was looking at you, I was like, it, it just like dawned on me. You know who you re resemble to me? Who? Beanie Man. Damn. Beanie what? Man. Look. I, I never, Look. She going to put wow. Beanie Man on you. <laughs> let me see. Can you wow. see your resemblance? <laughs> let me see. And he got a gap wow. in his tooth and everything. Yeah. I found That's the one crazy. where he got his hat turned back ways and everything. Uh, just like. She want to make you Jamaican around this uh, hole, bro. You hear me? Who got the key to my Beanie <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. So how can people get a hold of you, man? They trying to look you up, man. Come on, give it up, nigga. Uh, hit me up on my IG, man. Uh, kid, kid, nine, man. That's K I D D K I D D nine. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little black nigga your day. Like at one time it was cool to rip on the blue check and shit, but now that shit don't mean that shit. That shit don't mean nothing, man. Right. So kid, kid, nine. You know what I'm saying? When you <laughs> type that in, you know what I'm saying? You gonna see me on that motherfucker, man. Uh, I got a Twitter too. It's called It's Kid Kid. You know what I'm saying? I T S K I D D K I D D. They hit me on them. You know what I'm saying? Man, we love you, brother. Thank you so oh, much man, for coming on Boss Talk One on You family, man, you man, know me and my wife. Down. We rocking with you. <laughs> it's going <laughs> down, man. That's a fact. Boss Talk One on One, man. Bro. Make sure you guys check out this I next love. clip coming at you right now. Yeah. And let me tell you, if you love this clip you just watched just now, because he gave so much content. Check out this one. You're going to be blown away right now. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk.